Hey everyone, welcome back to Papa's Custom Cars. Uh, just coming off of a bout of COVID that was probably one of the worst that I've ever had. Um, we didn't get our, we, we got our first booster, but didn't get our second booster and it kind of attacked, attacked. Um, I didn't do so bad going through it. I didn't, uh, I've just developed a little bit of, a, of uh, some chest issues, but nothing, you know, nothing major, more like a heavy flu. Um, but with that, uh, and because of that, we're just going to be doing a bunch of short videos for a, for a few, and then we'll be back to a full a full on videos. Uh, first video, um, we're going to start attacking some little jobs we've got around the shop. I've got a, a, a one of those portable battery jumpers that I've had for a few years, and it just quit working probably within six months after I bought it. Come to find out, you know, this is like the first generation of them, and the uh, batteries that they had in them back in the day weren't very good. So we're going to work on that. So let's get to it. Well, as I was saying, this unit I've had, oh, for quite some time. It's never really worked well to begin with. It was never a really good one. I don't remember what I paid for it back in the day, but uh, it was a Schumacher, uh, Instapower. Uh, nothing in comparison to some of the new ones that I've tested. The best one that I've had so far is the one we cranked over that 383 with, or excuse me, my 355. But uh, it uh, cranked it four or five times and still had 75% charge. This one's never really been any good. And, come, you know, back in the day, these were... Uh, basically, the start of them, um, when I got this one, it's probably more than 10 years old, if, if that. And I was watching some videos on YouTube, and they say that you can rebuild these. And along with rebuilding it, you can update your battery power to the more modern type of battery um, and give it a new life. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull this apart, see what's what, what's inside of it. And... Um, then later on, we'll actually go online. I'll uh, grab some screenshots for you so that you can see uh, what kind of batteries would replace it. But uh, basically, we just need to crack this case apart and find out what's inside. A, to figure out, do we want to rebuild it? Um, or B, we need to pull the battery out of it so that we can recycle the whole thing and get rid of it if we don't plan on rebuilding it. So one of the first things we've got to do is determine what type of screws are on this thing. And as you can see... They're in there pretty deep, so let me grab some light and uh, take a look-see in there and see what we've got. So we're going to go ahead and light it up so I can see what kind of screws are in there. They look almost like a Phillips, but they have a sharper edges, edges to them, but it does look like a Phillips. So let's grab a Phillips screwdriver and see if we can't get this thing apart. So we've got our drill already. I say this unit, I have no idea whether or not we're going to be able to save it or not, so I really don't care um, about what we're looking at here. Just like a little fat screw. Let's try a regular Phillips here. Yep, regular Phillips works. So this one is too small. We want to grab our regular, which is right there. So we're going to set that there. Let's go ahead and pull these. Looks like two, four, six, eight screws holding this thing together. So we get to take it apart and find out what's, what this thing is made of.
put this back in here with the rest of these screws. Because I don't want to lose any parts. Until we know that we can't use them, but let's go figure out what this battery is going to cost us. So be back with you in just a little bit, and uh, we'll figure out what this thing does. Okay, so we can see on the screen that our average batteries, the whole unit is $102 to replace it. Uh, batteries run anywhere from $39.99 over to $59.95, all of course through Amazon. So it would be $40 for the cheapest one. Um, and that is based on the Schumacher Pro Series. DSR-119 is, is one of the models that's close to it, but uh, it, it could possibly be a different model. But this is basically the same battery that uh, we're seeing in the unit. So let's click on the cheap one, 18 amp hour. Uh, this one is 22 amp hour. And same with this one. So these two are a more, a bigger battery, I guess, or bigger amp hours. So let's take a look at this Mighty Max. Okay, so this one is a 22 amp hour Schumacher DSR Pro Series PSJ Jump Starter Battery Booster. Uh, 46.52 is the business price. So that kind of gives you a 13.6 uh, to 13.8 volts. Mm -hmm. 